Ever since new fossils discovered in 2014 raised questions about the lifestyle and body plan of Spinosaurus aegeicus, the internet has been on fire with an ongoing debate about whether or not these new hypotheses could be true. Before 2014, Spinosaurus was thought to be a bipedal theropod with a long snout to assist with limited fishing endeavors. The sail on its back was theorized to be for breeding purposes, like the antlers of a deer. After the 2014 discoveries, new fossilized hip and leg fragments suggested that perhaps this was a quadruped rather than a biped, and spent more of its life near the water than we previously thought. Also, the bones were found to be incredibly dense, possibly to help with buoyancy regulation, in a similar way to modern aquatic birds, such as penguins. The shape and structure of the femur and pelvic bones suggested relatively short hind legs that likely could not have held the animal's entire body weight. The same team of paleontologists who unearthed those groundbreaking fossils have recently announced the discovery of tail vertebrae, which further suggests a semi-aquatic lifestyle for this prehistoric beast. The vertebrae in question have elongated struts that extend around two feet from the center, and likely provided support for a layer of thin integument, which could have stretched between them. Essentially, these extensions would have turned this predator's tail into a mass of ore. This is a truly spectacular discovery, with huge implications for how these animals fit into their Cretaceous ecosystem. Rather than trying to compete with other theropods on land, Spinosaurus seems to have evolved for a life spent almost entirely in the water. Able to swim better than any other large dinosaur, and with slender jaws and conical teeth for grasping slippery fish, Spinosaurus would have been the ultimate fishing dinosaur.